What is going on everyone? I'm M Harry 10 and welcome to another WWE Supercard Season 3 video and this is a huge one that is all about one thing and one thing only. You can see it on your screen right now ladies and gentlemen, the Hall of Fame card is now the WWE Supercard profile picture on Twitter. But I'm getting ahead of myself. We're going to go back in time. We're going to go back to Tuesday night. When WWE Supercard tweeted out, we are looking forward to giving you the event preview tomorrow and something else. Get everyone talking. New tier, new cards, throwbacks, fusions. What is this madness? What is going on in WWE Supercard? What's happening? Well, I'll tell you. They announced on Wednesday night, they give out the Joe preview, as you can see on screen. The Road to Glory for Samoa Joe which we're currently on the Harden card, which is Neville. We've not done that good so far. I'll let that slide for now. But then later on, they tweeted out a new video. Just a little clip of something they're calling achievements. Now in these achievements, it showed for getting to Elite Tier in Ranked Mode, you got a couple of hundred credits. And you saw working down, there was further achievements if you got to WrestleMania mode, if you got to Ultimate mode in Ranked. You got credit rewards for these. Now, that is all they've said about these. New achievements coming in the next update, that's all they've said. Got people like, I thought it was going to be a new tier. I thought it was going to be custom cards. I thought it was going to be throwbacks, but no. It was achievements. So people kind of went, is that it? But let's just stop and think how good achievements could be in this game. NBA 2K has daily achievements. For getting these achievements, you get certain rewards. Whether it be things you can spend in the shop, whether you get a few credits. Supercard can do this. Daily rewards. If you get certain things each day, you can get some credits. You can get extra pulls off the board. You can get money in the bank contracts. Massive, massive potential. They have so much they could do with this. You could save up and get certain cards that are already available that way. It is endless possibilities. I'm happy about achievements, but that is not where they stopped. Let's go back to Thursday night. Supercard changed their profile picture. They did not tweet. They did not explain. They just changed. And now it can only mean one thing. When Supercard changed their profile picture, it means something big. New card backs. New cards. New fusions. New throwbacks. No, this is it, ladies and gentlemen. The tier we have all been waiting for ever since SummerSlam tier was announced. The end of Season 3 tier. Hall of Fame. It has to be. It has to be Hall of Fame tier. And this is the tier we've been waiting for, ladies and gentlemen. Imagine a tier only of Hall of Famers. That is not what I think is going to happen. Let me explain. I think this new tier, I hope this new tier is huge. Full of cards that take forever to pro. That Now I've said this in a few weeks, I will hate it. But just imagine a tier that lasts. A tier that you have to grind to get pros. Because, like I said in the other video, cards are so, so easy to get right now. Massive roster needed. But the biggest and best thing they could do with this tier, event cards should only be Hall of Famers. Picture it, ladies and gentlemen. Finally, Kurt Angle card. Finally, Event Eddie Guerrero card. Finally, Event Edge card. So, so many possibilities. Got me. Oh, last night on stream, we were just throwing ideas about. And today on Twitter and on Facebook, I posted like, what cards would you like to see? We've had Road Warriors. We've had Andre the Giant. We've had DDP. We've had Stone Cold. So many amazing Hall of Famers that people are saying. Imagine. But let's not forget what Supercard have just done in the last tier. Alistair Black's custom card. 
Hall of Fame cards with custom cards. How amazing would that be? Kurt Angle with a flag. Eddie Guerrero with Latino Eat. Edge with a rated R. It's just endless possibilities. And I really, really hope that what we think is happening is actually happening. And this is Hall of Fame tier coming. And nothing is confirmed yet. Like I said, I strive to say, I am 90% certain this is Hall of Fame tier. I'm jumping ahead with this video because I'm so certain that if it was anything but a new tier, they wouldn't be changing their profile picture. But I hear you ask now, Harry, when is this new tier? Where is this new tier? And I'm going to say, next week, what is happening is what happens at the end of every tier of Supercard. Flash events! <laughs> I think we're going to get, finally, WrestleMania 33, flash events. That means Ring Dom. That means Road to Glory. All within the space of a few days. And we literally could, ladies and gentlemen, this time next week, be playing the first Hall of Fame event. Just just stop for a minute. Just stop right there. Just Hall of Fame event! So who? 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 Who could this event be? Two people. That's all I can think are worthy of launching the Hall of Fame tier. Eddie Guerrero, because it's Eddie, would be absolutely amazing. But I truly, truly believe next week we are going to be playing for a Kurt Angle card. I just heard Gilly pass out watching this video there. It has to be. WWE Supercard, if you're watching this, Give us more information. Let us know dates. Please. Put, please let it be Kurt. Let it be the Olympian hero. The three eyes. It's damn true. Let it be Kurt. That's all I, that's, that's all I can fathom. It has to be Kurt. Kurt being the general manager of Raw. He's been in WWE. He's just returned to it. He's red hot at the minute. Potential SummerSlam match for Triple H. That's in the rumours. It's just perfect timing for Kurt Angle to finally be in WWE Supercard. So let me know in the comments who you want in Hall of Fame tier and who you want to be event cards in Hall of Fame tier. Because, like, guys, the profile picture changed literally five minutes before we streamed last night. So we were all just going absolutely crazy with excitement. So, I suppose I should actually talk about what's happening in the game now, rather than the future. Uh, like I say, Samoa Joe is the event card with Road to Glory. That will be a pro. I did get him in Ring Domination. Apologies for not doing a video on that. Uh, it was just another one of those wild weekends when I didn't get a chance to sit at the computer. Money in the bank. As you can see, we are so, so, so close to that second Alexa Bliss card. We have five and a half days left to get 6,100 contracts. So we are gonna do it, we are gonna get that Alexa Bliss. But a big thing here, ladies and gentlemen, in five days, 14 hours, 31 minutes and 24 seconds, this cycle of money in the bank ends. And it ends exactly a year since Money in the Bank started. Since we fought for those Roman Reigns, ever-changing picture and Seth Rollins, it ends. So what does this mean for Money in the Bank? With Money in the Bank taking place this Sunday, do we just carry on as normal? Or is something going to change? There was big rumours we were hoping, maybe one of the things they were announcing this week with it being Money in the Bank, you get double contracts. If a new tier does drop next week, have we got another cycle of WrestleMania 33 cards before they bring in the Money in the Bank for Hall of Fame tier? It's just... Or do they change it up? Do they offer more contracts per game, possibly? Because the... Obviously, if they go Hall of Fame, it's going to be more than 24,000 for one card. So you're looking at sort of 30,000 for a card, 60,000 contracts for a pro, and you can only get 40 in a game. Maybe they bring in some different color briefcases that you can get five, maybe six points. So then you're getting your 60 contracts a game, possibly something like that. We will find out next week. And I'm guessing there's going to be further announcements this weekend from WWE Supercard. I don't think they're done with the announcements yet. I think there is going to be an update next week, but I think before that there's going to be another WrestleMania 33 event card, a flash one. I don't think there's going to be a team event next week. 
hold my hands up if I'm wrong here guys, you know I'm the first to admit when I am wrong. And I think there's going to be something announced about Money in the Bank. That's going to be the third change, I think. But one final thing, with this Hall of Fame tier, I think, people have done videos, I've done videos, I think this confirms, ladies and gentlemen, Season 4 will be a Total Reset. And for you that don't know what a Total Reset is, I had a lot of people in the stream, I was like, what does Total Reset mean? They did it at the end of Season 1. Basically, at the end of Season 1, they reset everything back and Legendary was the top tier. Now, using the Loyalty Chamber, you got to change some of your WrestleMania pros, obviously just WrestleMania back then, just WrestleMania was the top tier, into this Loyalty Chamber. And that gave you a pro, Ultra Rare, if it was a WrestleMania card you're bringing over, uh, and two WrestleMania singles. So you had an Ultra Rare Pro and two Ultra Rare singles. And then you could change your uh, Survivor into Super Rare and so on. So you had a bit of a starting deck, head start. You could have those Ultra Rares and Super Rares straight in your deck rather than going straight back and having that one rare that you get in your starter pack. So that is what a reset is. Everything resets. Game modes remain. I assume now with card images changing, they'll remain. But you would literally be back to whatever the top tier is, you'll be back before that. So if they cap it at WrestleMania possibly this time, you'll be back starting in super rare, rare tier and then working your way up to that maximum of WrestleMania. WrestleMania will be the event card and then they'll start to release the tiers on top like they have done in season two and season three with SummerSlam, uh, Hardened, Elite, Ultimate, WrestleMania 33 and now Hall of Fame tier. So that is what a reset is, and we truly do believe there's a lot of people in the community that were on stream last night, uh, a lot of big YouTubers and streamers, uh, all of them saying they, they truly believe this is the end of Season 3, Hall of Fame tier being the last tier, and then there's nowhere to go but a total reset. Uh, so big shout out, uh, I am going to do some plugs here guys for the change, uh, for people that have helped me with these ideas, people giving me feedback on what they think is coming, so go and follow their uh, Twitches and YouTubes. Uh, Mr. Kills 115 uh, at Kills 115 on Twitch uh, at Gilly Mark on Twitch. That's Mark with a C, and of course the guy you all know, JB Super Zombie Barbecue. Go and give him all a follow and give them lots of love. Uh, honorable mentions to last night Meg and Loz and Darren because they come in the chat. Mrs. H, of course, he'll be very happy because Finn is the ultimate in Road to Glory. So hopefully she can get another Finn card. But there's, there's just community on Twitch and Twitter at the minute, guys, that are really supportive of each other, helping each other out. So go and give everyone a love. If they're on Twitch, go and follow them. Go and give them support. If they're doing YouTube videos, go and like the video, subscribe to their channels, because we're all growing at the minute. And at the minute, the game is being really exciting. It's been really exciting to be part of. So that's all I've got from this, guys. Don't forget to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Come follow me on Twitch. Come follow me on Twitter. Stay tuned to W Supercar on Twitter, because like I say, guys, I do not believe the announcements are over. Stay tuned. I feel something is coming tonight. Something extra, whether that is Hall of Fame or whether something else to do with Money in the Bank. But it's just a really, really exciting weekend. So subscribe to the channel so you know when we do new videos because we will be doing videos all weekend if anything new gets announced. Uh, and don't forget, guys, from me, you're all perfect tens. <laughs>